pleasure to see you, Eivor. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenefordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Chotwe followed. The order that Basim and Hytham are pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see the Alliance map. The Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chael hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chael can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. We've had nothing for days. Nestle and turnips. It's all I could find. Smells good, that. There you go, young Come on, boy. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirupshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a Shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be Elderman in the time of war, Chilbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. 
But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. Captain O'Neill, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You! I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Jailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiriat is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotri, and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Apkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. If no 
Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am, and a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? You knock a rodery from his throne, withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. Ah, enough of this nonsense! <laughs> Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Your silver is in the hands of one who wants it most. Now pray to your god it does some good. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. You Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva! You have scuppered the peace! Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah! A good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile.
What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury, then, once I've done some damage. Until then... One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks.